It's all about the custom stuff, though, right? I mean, did everybody see my, my cool ass, my cool oh. hoodie? Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh. I'm wearing it wrong, though, aren't I? It needs gold and gold. Yeah, check it out. So we get some cutie marks. <laughs> I love the cutie mark crusaders. I love them the first episode they appear. You now they teach so many important life lessons. Like don't lie to children. <laughs> they will believe you. They're stupid. <laughs> Twilight and AJ, with the element of honesty, I might add, had just been straight up, you know, hey, hey, Bloom, Scooty, you know, sweetie, <laughs> this thing, song thing, this is terrible, this is, this is bad, this is, I got, got a share, got a care bad, Bloom saw this, she turned back into Nightmare Moon, <laughs> if this were her sorority dress, she would have made it drunk, hornless, and wallowing whatever the hell ponies wallow in, <laughs> just terrible. You, know, you tell them right there, you know, boom, set of co sets and costumes, sweetie music and scenes, scoop dance moves, boom, three cutie marks on the man, next flank, please. <laughs> now, one advantage of the cutie mark system, and I believe this is important, is that you can't have hipsters in, in Ponyville, or in Equestria for that matter. I mean, just think about it, it's like, pfft, yeah, I guess you play guitar or whatever. Dude, is that Jimi Hendrix on your cutie mark? <laughs> whatever. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, screw hipsters. I got I got a quiz, a quiz for everybody, like kind of a brony <coughs> difficulty raised quiz. Three of ascending difficulty. There's easy, medium, hard. Okay, ready to go? Ooh, 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 ooh. Just answer Derpy Hooves. No. <laughs> Get out. <laughs> <That's the punishment. laughs> All right, question one. This is the easy one. All right. In the Showstoppers, who is Scootaloo and Sweetie Belle dressed up as? What's their costume? Peter Chris. Mm, no. Think, it, okay, I'll give you a hint. Think of another the episode with the Diamond Dogs. David Bowie. There you go, David Bowie. Oh. Ziggy Stardust specifically, yeah. That was the easy question? That's the easy question. Right. <laughs> well, I don't know. Second, I don't know if the second one yeah. is easier. Who knows? All right, this is the medium difficulty one. All right, so who taught Pinkie Pie <laughs> To giggle at the ghosties. Granny Pie. Granny Pie. Granny Pie. See, I got it in the wrong frickin' order. <laughs> it's actually Grammy Pie. M's. M's. It's it's really? Grammy. Yes. Oh, Grammy Pie. It sounds like Granny to me. It's, it's no, Grammy. It's not. I, I will show you proof. No, I already ate things. No, you guys say Granny Pie. I said, yeah, that's right, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, this is the third question. This is the hardest one. Alright. You sure about that? Yes, I'm sure. <laughs> oh, All right, now we're out. Okay, here it comes. Who is the best pony? Great question. They are all equally inferior to the Griffins. <laughs> No, seriously, it is Twilight, though. <laughs> There's no joke here. She's the best one. She can clear those apples, 12 trees at once. I believe half the stories I read, she can rip holes in space-time continue like that. It's nothing. Speaking of which, I, I, I love I love Pony Fix. You know, I probably need like 10 a week, and I have a job, too. It's amazing. Now, kooky fun, you know, weird stuff just comes out of there. You know, I got into Fall Equestria, yeah. stories about Spike growing up. You know, uh, the, doc the Doctor Who stories are not, I don't think they, uh, like, are really true to the show, though, because I read two paragraphs of one story and he hadn't saved the universe yet, so. <laughs> <laughs> it seems like, jeez, get on. <laughs> no, but the uh, first time I started reading it was probably March, and I came across a story that, uh, well, at a label I was unfamiliar with at the time. No? Hmm. Oh, no. Shipping, eh? Oh, no. Must be about freight trains. Click. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Fluttershy still feels bad about what happened in the dragon trap. So, okay, she sees Applejack in the field. All right, helps her out of the field. Now she stays too late, she's got to stay at the farm for that. Makes sense. See, scroll, scroll. Oh, my. <laughs> Oh my. <laughs> oh my. 
You know, it wasn't the content. It, it was honestly just the surprise, but I couldn't masturbate for a month after that. <laughs> yeah, I had the one bad one. <laughs> now, I've written a few stories myself. I got published once during that. Uh, that it was a Trixie short story thing. That was pretty cool. I know everybody got, got published on that, and that's a technicality, but I was picked as one of the best. So back off. <laughs> no, but I did write, the best one I wrote, though, I don't think could be published, just because it's, I think it's a little too far. So he wrote a, a Godfather crossover. <laughs> What's a scene with a horse in The Godfather? <laughs> yeah. that, that may have been just a little bit even past the grim dark label, so. I don't, yeah, I don't want to. One of the things people like to speculate more on than anything is, uh, you know, the events that led up to uh, Luna's banishment, you know, turning into Nightmare Moon. And what did turn her into Nightmare Moon? I mean, who were the original elements of Harmony? Is Rainbow Dash gay? <laughs> that's, that's unrelated, but it seems to come up a lot. <laughs> Let's see. Nightmare Dune, Rainbow Mash? I don't know. <laughs> Tell you what, I can't wait for the movie to come out, though. An ancient wizard, a bowl with a secret, a mare with a past, a dragon who needed a shave. <laughs> from the director of The Pink Lebowski and Rainbow Gump, and from the producers of Cupcakes in the Movie, oh. comes an epic tale of betrayal and friendship. As eternal night approaches, a princess must decide between the pony she rules and her only sister, but darkness runs deep. I'm sorry, Your Highness. I'm afraid her dark magic has tainted every sock, booty, and stocking in all of Equestria. There's no saving them. This running the leaves day. Discover the truth. Discover the truth. Big time. <laughs> My little punk friendship is magic. The mayor in the moon. All <laughs> It's very difficult to write jokes for this because a lot of it revolves around the characters and their actions and what they do. And I don't know how much time it would take, but I don't know if I'm ready to commit to being able to do a Celestia impression. It's just <laughs> however much I would just love to. So I've got to do all these uh, all these jokes that I wrote, you know, kind of in the male voices, the only ones that I can do. So if you excuse me for one. Dear Princess Celestia, <laughs> with one week to go before the gala, I greatly anticipate seeing you and showing you my new dress, my friend Rarity made for me. <laughs> it will truly be the best night ever. Signed, your faithful student, Twilight Sparkle. <laughs> to my most faithful student, Twilight Sparkle. <laughs> friends at Ponyville. I look forward to seeing your dress at the Grand Gala Gala next week. It promises to be a most magical and wondrous evening. Signed, Princess Celestia. That was perfect. <laughs> I couldn't tell the difference. I know. No, you know what? It's all bullcrap. Because all this, this is all just waiting for the second season to start, you know? It's all just... Oh. Yeah. We must be patient. Let Jason and Lauren create. We must, we must be calm, you know? We must let... No, but one of the things I hope they uh, maybe change up just a little bit in the second season is, is like the cast, the main characters a little bit. You have to change the opening theme song, but yeah, I mean, that's, that's not actually that big a deal, right? You know, it's like, big adventure, tons of fun, beautiful, art, faithful, and strong, sharing kindness, sneezy feet, and bow before the bad, great, and powerful Trixie, the greatest and most spectacular magician in all of Equestria! <laughs> Credit cards, all good. <laughs> you have a great night. What about the first porn dog? What about the first porn dog?